Fellow Beastmen, what the Bray Herd is going on, and welcome back to Tarox, the Brass Bull campaign. But don't forget the main bull here, which is Al Gore Bull. Remember, vote Gore Bull in 24. He will destroy all humans equally, and it's really our only candidate. So, hope you all are enjoying the campaign so far. I know I am. I am back. I'm going to be on vacation soon, but worry not. I am recording lots of episodes of this. The other campaigns you may be watching... And I'll have as many videos ready for the uh, the two weeks that I'll be gone. And in fact, I'm pretty sure I'll have something ready for every day while I'm gone. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. Um, at the same time, I was going to say my first couple episodes of this have been over 40 minutes each. I'm not saying that I will never make them over 40 minutes each from here on out. But I should be aiming for 30 minutes to 35 minutes um, because then I'll be able to record more and get more ready uh, before I head out on the vacation, so... Um, you know what? Let's put a herd stone in here. Give us kind of a base of operations. Right, so that gives us... Ooh, ancient city, huh? We can take a shot at uh, Plain of Spiders, Witchwood, and Ancient City, Kintex. It's actually not all that much we had here. It's pretty weak. Um, this could be a Skaven settlement, maybe? I don't know. Ogres, my lord. Ooh, These ogre mercenaries. Are as strong as they are stupid. I wonder how that works with them. Do I have to pay upkeep on <laughs> ogre mercenaries as a beast man? Or does it does it work differently? I'm gonna have to check that out. Uh, speaking of, I want to be able to replenish faster. I'm gonna build that building alongside my herd stone. Let's take a look at our army. If we're gonna be fighting the wood elves, we're gonna need the right units, and razor gore herds are not the right units. We need lots of shielded infantry, just infantry in general. Uh, light cavalry is useful. I have plenty of cavalry, though. I kind of want to put more shielded. I know they're not shielded, but just more infantry in general on the field. we got to rush them down and hold them. And I'm kind of wondering whether it's really worth it to have more than a couple of Ungor Raiders. So, I think I'm going to drop another Ungor Spear Herd with shields there. That'll give me more infantry to rush at the Wood Elves and be able to try and tie them down so that my cavalry can get at the juicy, sweet Archer Core. Um, I don't want to have a bunch of units that makes it more difficult for me to get in. I'm going to keep upgrading Fury of the Herd. He's going to add more melee defense to my, um, my Gores and make them more difficult for enemies to kill. Um, I'm kind of surprised it doesn't add more attack, you know, considering you're the Beastmen and you're all about attacking, but I guess it kind of is what it is. And as for Gorbul, we're going to start putting more hit points on him. Okay, so I think that's about all we can handle for now. I could recharge this campaign movement, but I don't think there's a whole lot of point in that. Getting at the Witchwood is going to be difficult, because they're going to have Garrison there, and it'll be a decent garrison. Plus, they've got a pretty sizable army, and my army yet is not that great. Like, it's okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's not spectacular. So... And it's expensive, but I could use more of these infantry, actually. That would be better than bringing this extra spear unit that I don't want. And then, in fact, I can trade this one for another shielded one since we're fighting Wood Elves. Probably get as many shields together as we can. Oh, it won't give me a mass of protection, but should still be useful. So we'll need to catch the Sisters of Twilight when they're away from their little woodland realm. We could always set up some ambushes or just kind of go into the uh, well-hidden encampment stance. Which could give us an opportunity to pick them off. Let's do this. What are we doing? Alright, so we are pretty much fully replenished and we need to keep fighting. Oh, great! Elithanar just took Hag Hall, so he just offered himself up as sacrifice to our um, momentum. What's up? High Elf Dirt. I may regret this. <laughs> that is so many Shadow Walkers. Oh man, he always spams them. I have enough infantry to keep his own infantry busy. 
Assuming I can get all my other fast movers into his Shadow Walkers, we should be fine. I'm gonna throw a lightning strike here just because why not? I mean, it's not many reinforcements, but let's try and get this done. This is gonna be quite the battle. Hopefully I get some rewards for this. I know we'll get some devastation for it. And um, maybe pick up some items or something that, yeah, oh my gosh, man, his Shadow Walkers are so OP campaign. We're gonna want to get in his face as quickly as possible, giving him as little time as possible. I don't know where he's gonna put his Shadow Walkers. I don't know if they are actively vanguard deploying their units or not. I'm gonna put my unshielded units all the way to the flank. Hopefully where they're less likely to have a bunch of archers. Oh yes, 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 yes. This is good. I am going to get as many fast-moving Vanguard deploy units back here as I can. The bad news is some of my toughest units are going to be a long ways from the fight. It's going to take them a little while to arrive on station. Let's and get a few things ready. Art group these guys. Oops, there. Group here starts. All right, let's go find those shadow walkers. I need to see where they're at before I really pounce with my cavalry. Okay, here they are. I already see some lined up on these flanks away from spear cover. All across the front and flanks. Can't overcommit. I don't want to get more than one Centigor herd stuck here. Get away from the spears. We gotta stay away from the spears with our light cavalry. So that we can have a chance at getting at those shadow walkers. Freaking attack him already! Okay, I do see a couple of juicy targets starting to crop up. And my, uh, my big boys are arriving on scene. I'm gonna try and plow through this gap here. With Tarox. Hope our infantry can hold its own for just a moment. Alright, crap, my war herds are being absolutely stupid because I didn't put them on. Okay. Alright, just stay after the Shadow Walkers. Alright, so I'm gonna stay all over these Shadow Walkers. Like I said, I'm going to hope my infantry can hold its own. Maybe a little Savage Dominion here for good luck. We've pinned a whole bunch of Shadow Walkers back here, but we cannot over or underestimate these Shadow Walkers. They are actually quite competent in melee. They are trying to flee from me too, which is actually kind of helping me at the moment. Let's get in behind them with our Summon Saigor. Gonna get some vile tide action right here. Devolve that unit. I'm hoping we can get some terror routes started. We are certainly making a dent in the giant pile of shadow walkers, which are number one threat here. It's got a terror route there. All right. Good news, good news. Right, Bray Shaman, come help me out here. I was hoping we get a terror out from the Saigor. Um, for whatever reason, our infantry can't beat standard High Elf Spearmen who are not all that chevron, so I'm a little bit frustrated and disappointed with the BS from the AI here. Because there's no way they should be doing well in any of these infantry fights. High Elf Spearmen can hold, but they wouldn't be doing particularly good 
this fight. I'm gonna summon another Psygor here. I think we've got this. Not gonna be a particularly easy fight, but it's a fight we should be able to win. Actually, don't chase them, just stay in that fight. I'm gonna shoot him with my Ungor Raiders. Okay, I'm gonna collapse this flank. Spearmen are gonna rout, and I expect we'll see the same over here. Alright, there we go. Chain route. Good. Alright, well, it worked out. It was close. I didn't expect that would be particularly easy. But it did work out. And it'll give us devastation. It'll keep our momentum going. It'll weaken Alethanar, who is gonna be absolutely on steroids with all these Shadow Walkers. What's funny is that I think, yeah, I took more losses than he did and we won the battle. <laughs> oh boy, one of those. Pyrrhic victory indeed. Pyrrhic victory indeed. Replenishment's not gonna help much, um, but neither will this other stuff really. I mean, at least we killed off two of his Shadow Walkers and an Eagle. It's it's a start. And then I'm going to put him out of a settlement here, which should hopefully gain me some other advantage as well. Uh, that's not going to get rid of any of my units. And... Might as well do raise in advance. I mean, he, he can't replenish. If he attacks me, I can take him. I'm going to go into this well-hidden encampment. We may even get lucky and pull him in, like, where he can't see us. Let's see. Shadow. That uh, Traitor Kin, the Savage Dominion. I really want to get Arcane Conduit opened up. We are very nearly there. Give our Gorbals some more hit points. We've opened the Blackhorn Ravagers gore herd, so that is good news. We're fighting a lot of archer heavy factions right now, so I'm gonna take this gore herd and replace it with the Blackhorn Ravagers. Plus, they'll be at full strength. Yeah, that did give us some decent devastation, and our momentum's looking good. And we hit a higher level of rampage, so we now have a savage rampage. And let's see what our options are here. So we get 100 dread for five turns, extra money from raising settlements, and then our horde building construction cost goes down. We get extra dread, and then extra dread from battles. Solar Eclipse Dark Moon event will trigger next turn. Now, I don't know what that provides, but it sounds kind of fun. And then we can also get a reduced cost to momentum replenishing, which would be pretty neat. Dang, that, that would be pretty cool, because then we could just fight lots of battles. I want to see what this Dark Moon event is, though, so let's let's claim that reward and close out of there. And let's see here. We can improve this ward uh, to a squalid encampment. And let's end this turn. Okay, yep, we caught a Lethanar in an ambush. I was hoping that would be the case. Blasted standard... Missile resistance. What is the blasted standard? I don't even know what it is. I'm going to put it on my Gorgon. We'll take a look at what it is. All right, we've got to kill his army again. My infantry is in pretty pathetic shape. I've got a few units I can use to bum rush at him. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a rough fight. But, I mean, that's okay, because we can re-recruit really quickly if we have to. I'd rather not lose units, but, I mean, if I do, I, I do. We're the Beastmen. We can get right back into the fight. Pretty quick. It is an ambush, though, so I feel like this will help me single out his uh, Shadow Walkers hopefully a little easier, though. I don't know if I'll be able to see them, even off of the deployment, but they always deploy them in a column formation. So I think we make the safe assumption that his Shadow Walkers are right back here. Dang. And of course, it, it's an ambush. It's just supposed to give me an advantage, but... This map takes away my ability to deploy in the way that I need to at the moment, so that is actually pretty highly infuriating. I'm 
I'm gonna really put a focus back here on getting to those Shadow Walkers. And then I will let my debilitated infantry do its best. I'm gonna bring these three units from up the hill. I'm gonna put my Ungor herds up here. And my more beat up infantry I'll run, I guess, from down. Man, this is this is absolutely awful. This map is a joke of an ambush map. I can't deploy like anywhere here. They have a better deployment than I do, and it's an ambush map. Ugh. Let's, see, let's get our prey shaman. Start, start running up here. You all start running down here. Okay, the Shadow Walkers have already popped up. Let's go get them. Let's see. Get into combat. Alright. Fast movers. Keep moving, we gotta catch the pack here. Alright, we've singled out all their archers. At least almost all of them, I should say. I'm gonna have my Bray Shaman attempt to take on Alethanar. This might end up being a mistake, but I can summon a Saigor to help. And use some magic. Alright, clean him up, gents. Oh yeah, he's beating the crap out of us. Alethanar's weapon strength actually is pretty good against anything with low armor. Assuming that's the real Alethanar here. Because he's attempting to run away like the real Alethanar would. Okay, just a couple of archer units left. Routed that. Come on, Alethanar. Get out of there, you coward. You're hiding in the woods. It's time to play. I'm gonna send a bull over here to help hunt out Alethanar as well. Alright. We've dealt with. Where the heck did this coward run to? I mean, he just straight up took off. Maybe maybe that was the fake one. I mean, did he go like... Uh, that was like a 200 IQ play right there. I mean, went running off with the fake one, making me think it was the real one. I mean, I don't know what to think. I think I just got bamboozled by the AI. I'm gonna have to go commit seppuku. For allowing that to, to happen. But I think we may have just gotten bamboozled. back over here. They had a stupid Shadow Walker unit come back from routing, but it's going to chain route here in a minute, along with everything else as soon as I get my boobs on Alethanar. Yeah, I really want to run Alethanar down to make sure he is absolutely dead, but I don't know whether my Centigore herds are going to be able to catch him. Got one on him. He doesn't have much armor, so we should chew through him pretty quick. And of course I have the one great weapon herd. There he goes. I remember right, the, uh, yeah, he's got pretty solid melee defense. That's what I was thinking. All right, he be dead. That poison bow spammer. Finally got rid of him. That should be the end of his army. And I was kind of, like I said, I was kind of hoping that that would happen. Where if we went into that well-hidden encampment, he would kind of get duped into turning around and fighting us. Giving us an opportunity to gain an advantage on him. And of course, the more battles we win, the more um, dread we gain, the stronger we can make ourselves. So we should be getting stronger with every fight. Uh, 
Take the extra favor. Not worried about bestial rage right now. Let's see what this special moon event is. Yeah, look, his army did get away. That's why I killed him. Uh, he shouldn't have gotten away because it was an ambush. But he did. And there we go. Alright, the dark moon. Two turns of full replenishment. Three turns. I mean, this isn't that great, is it? I mean, this beastly inclination is always good. Three turns of much more campaign movement range probably isn't bad. This beastly inclination should work. I'm gonna go over here and take a crap on this. And auto resolve that. All right, cataclysmic rampage oh, achieved. Slaughterhorn. This is the greatest. Ra All right, so we're on a big rampage. You were recruit rank for gorbals, workers. It's twenty-five percent for capacity of minotaur my shield. These all kind of suck. Like, I mean, really? Like, I kind of expected some full rewards for getting up this high. <laughs> eh, like, <laughs> not. I don't know. What do you all think? I mean, these just seem kind of lame. I I don't even need any of this right now. Yeah, it feels like a big letdown. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, feels like a really big letdown. I, I don't need to recruit Gorbals, Ray Shamans, Wargers. Like, I, I don't even know if I can recruit a Warger. I'll do it, because we haven't recruited a Warger, but I mean... <laughs> Feels like a really feels like a really weak reward. Um, <laughs> being honest, like it just does not feel very exciting. All right. Um, well, there we go. All right. Let me find what else I was looking. Boy, boy. Yeah, so this vigor loss reduction and extra speed is never a bad thing. Let's grab that. Or er, hang on. What do we got up in here? Dazed contact effect, so it reduces speed and melee defense for people he's fighting, drenched in blood, additional stack of river blood region effects. Winning battles. Armor for Gorgon's giant jabber slides. This one allows Tarox to replenish. Would certainly be good. I mean, heck, let's start working on these. Let's give him his replenishment. That'll make him substantially stronger. Right, we picked up the uh, Grog Hooves of Wolf's Run. Sent to Gore with Throwing Axe ROR. Let's see. Escort Chariot. So the Razor Gore Chariot has higher armor. Same speed, more hit points. Well, he'll definitely be more useful, I think, on a chariot, but I want the arcane conduit first. Let's grab Al Gore Bull, finish off his hit point upgrades. Okay. We need to get into the woods. Where we at least need to ambush the sisters to kind of make our way back into the woods. Page panel. We're gonna be gaining a lot of dread. Let's see what we can do with the dread. I mean, more infantry and better infantry is never gonna be a bad thing, is it? I don't know that recruiting is my big... Like, it's certainly not the long... Okay, we could get a warger. I think we already had enough for the warger, though. We need to upgrade our uh, herdstone. Next time I'm in there, so that's what I'm forgetting to do. I need to upgrade the herdstone. Ooh, doom ghouls. Good. 
We don't have the right building for the Warbird. We have to have a Pelt Totem. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want that to do. Come on. Whatever. I don't know why I can't redo that. Well, we're not in the encamp stance. It was paused anyway, so it shouldn't be the end of the world. I took off moving. Instead of sitting around in the encamp stance to build that. Are the Tomb Kings out here checking on me? I'm gonna need to sneak into the woods. I'm gonna move into the woods. Enter a hidden encampment. And see if we can catch them coming out. Go ahead and make that improvement. I'm losing money because someone's raiding me. It's okay. Shouldn't be a big deal. I'd love to see you uh, come take a shot at my herdstone. Actually, I wouldn't. I need to upgrade my herdstone. <laughs> come take a shot at my herdstone later. Wait, I thought I was supposed to be getting extra stuff from the rampage right now. Or is it only a one-time dread? I don't remember. Let's see what happens on this turn. And it's not calling it out in there, but it could just be because it hasn't updated yet. Let's, um... Grab this Tuskor Chariot. Make him a little more useful against archers and stuff. Alright, come on out of there, sisters. Come on, get out of there. Nope, and they are recruiting at a pretty rapid pace. I can't sit around for long. Um, we could go north to the Temple of Adioth. Dang, man. I don't know if we can win this. I do have four Centigors. I could deploy back, maybe try and take care of the Shades. I don't have a way to take care of their Lord very well, though. I mean, I'm going to give it a shot. I don't think we can win, but I'll fight it. It doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure that the Marks of Ruination are permanent. It just means that we don't have this area as, like, you know, a place to go replenish or whatever. It's not the end of the world. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the Marks of Ruination are permanent. Um, I could be wrong, though. If they tear down the Herdstone, you may lose them. I should have upgraded my Herdstone, but I was dumb, and I didn't spend my Dread properly. Okay, those Shades are going to be coming in as reinforcements. I'm going to pounce on them. I'm going to try and get to the flank quickly with the Ungors. This flank quickly. Right. Get up here. Comes the shade reinforcements. Got everybody moving. I'm gonna try and get on top of these shades in a big hurry. Keep them from getting to use their excellent armor piercing missiles. with me there. Let's see. I'm going to try and use my Harpies to see if we can overwhelm one of these Dread Spears. Get in there. Got to take these guys down in a hurry because we got a Dread Lord on us. Alright, they're pretty good damage in here with these Harpies. Let's get over here. Finish them off. Come on, finish them off so I can get out of there. Those shades are really wrecking. And these ones. Come on, kill, kill, kill. Crush, kill, destroy. We've almost killed these dread spears here, and then I'll get some units freed up. Monk, 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 get free. Alright, get around the flank. Excellent. Move up here. 
harpies. And there, I'm losing way too many centigors back here, but we will finish off their shades, so I guess I'm okay with the trade for now. All the way around behind, we got a totally out flank. Give those guys proper rear shots. Push these guys off. Their lord is right there, and their stupid shades just aren't wanting to rout. Uh, we might be able to do this. I'm gonna counter charge these guys coming at me. Let's go finish off these shades. I'll take one group to go get that. The sooner I can get my centigors free for rear charges, the better, too. Both lost our unit there, but whatever. Kill those shades. Ignore the Lord, no one cares. I'm gonna try and put some leader fire and let's see if we can put some pressure on the spear unit. Killing the dread lords is gonna be challenging, but if we can get rid of all the enemy chaff first, that might help substantially in cutting us a break. Cycle charge. Everybody right back in on that. Some good shots in there. Yeah, the leadership of their infantry is definitely falling apart. Alright. Yep. There we go. Now... Their dreadlords are gonna fall apart. We did it! I wasn't certain we could pull this off, but we're gonna absolutely pull it off. Excellent. Alright, well, we defended our herdstone, so we're not gonna have to find out the hard way whether or not your dread gets deleted. Come on. On this dreadlord, hunt these guys down. Let's make them pay for this little expedition of theirs. All right, that one's gonna die. That one should get locked up into combat and killed now too. That should be two dead dreadlords, and hopefully buys me the time and dread to upgrade my herdstone so that I don't have to worry about this near as much. There we go. That should send a message to the Druki. About whose herd stone this is. It's certainly not theirs. Well, my troops performed well. They did well there. We were probably struggling more against the High Elves because of their martial prowess. Giving them all that melee defense. Just going to make it slower for us to cut through them. And considerably more difficult at that. So, let's see here. out and I'm gonna grab the favor there because bestial rage doesn't matter because this is not a ward yeah see we're not gaining that much oh yeah I think we are gaining the hundred or so that it says I need 375 to get into a better herd stone <laughs> Bestigor. Nice, but I don't think I can actually recruit any Bestigors, unfortunately. Yeah, I need the next Marks of Ruination level to uh, recruit those. I would get this um, I'll Entropy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, right here. A coffinous assault applies temporary penalties to the enemy when leadership and melee defense start a battle. Let's do that. We cannot sit idle here. Yeah, there's marks of ruination for hitting the Temple of Adioth, and I think that's gonna be 
our next target while we wait on the sisters to get their butts out of their woods. There we go. That is going to be all the time I have for this episode. I am going to try and keep this at the right time. So in the next one, we need to finish up this blood ground. I need to take my um, dread and upgrade our herd stones. And then uh, just kind of continue trying to get ourselves a good foothold here. Killing the sisters won't be easy if we allow them to group up. Group up. So we're going to need to pull them apart um, in order to have the most success there. And I think we can do it. Anyway, Air of Carthage signing up for now. Hope you all enjoyed this one, and I will see you soon.